This is the Cholo News Report for Wednesday 18, April, 2018. U.S. President Donald Trump and his administration are considering replacing the U.S. military forces in Syria with a regional Arab force. According to U.S. officials, the plan would use the Arab force to help stabilize the northeastern part of the country after the defeat of the Islamic State. Emerging details of the plan come days after U.S.LED airstrikes hit several targets in Syria in response to a deadly chemical attack in the country. According to the Wall Street Journal, the plan for an Arab force to take over for the U.S. in Syria is popular with Eric Prince the founder of paramilitary company Blackwater and who has helped the U.A.E. Israel holds services remembering 23,646 Israeli soldiers and 3,134 civilians killed in the conflict. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein took part in the ceremony, as well as top army brass and families of fallen soldiers. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, speaking at a foreign ministry ceremony commemorating the nation's 16 diplomats killed in service, state security services are prepared to foil possible attacks on diplomats by Iran. The last fatality was in 2003, when former ambassador to Britain Shlomo Argov died of wounds from the attack, 21 years earlier when three Abu Nidal terrorists shot him in the head in London. Foreign Ministry employees have also been killed in Kyrgyzstan, Jordan, the Dominican Republic, Nigeria, Turkey, Egypt and South Africa. Netanyahu noted that the practice of granting immunity to diplomats goes back to ancient Greece, and was reaffirmed at the 1815 Congress of Vienna. Egypt invites rival Palestinian factions Fatah and Hamas to meet in Cairo, in a bid to halt violent protests at the israel Gazan border. The Hamas delegation headed by Salah Arari and Musa Abu Mazouk is set to arrive in Cairo today, according to the Times of Israel whilst Fatah factions are said to be already there. Signed in October last year the reconciliation deal between West Bank-based Fatah and Gaza-based Islamist Hamas was aimed at ending a decade-long split between rival Palestinian factions and an attempt to unify policy across the two territories currently operating as two parallel governments. Perhaps the biggest blow to rapprochement efforts came last month with the attempted assassination of P. A. Prime Minister of Ramy Handler. The names of 3,607 employees of Unit 731, a Japanese military medical experimentation unit associated with war crimes during World War II, are released. Prosecutors in the United States had kept their identities secret following the war in exchange for access to data gleaned from the project. The names released are from a January 1, 1945, list of the people employed by the unit, which was officially called the Epidemic Prevention and Water Purification Department of the Quantum Army. In this picture taken on January 7, 2015, visitors look at a scene of human experiments at the UNIT 731 Museum in Harbin, northeast China's Heilongjiang province. Chinese man looks at figures showing vivisection tests at Exhibition Hall of Historical Japanese Germ Warfare located in south of Harbin. Oil exploration ship MV Ocean Geos catches fire after an explosion on board off Kuala Barum, Indonesia. Of the crew, 37 are evacuated including two injured and one more remains missing. Four firefighting tugs are in attendance. Hafiz sustained 20% burns on his body while Isma suffered injuries to his, his face. Myri Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency Director Captain Fawzi Othman said two mayor boats, Pengalang 23 and KNC Cap, and two other ships, Hizyum 8 and Neoptro 18, were on location searching for the missing victim. An explosion in the engine room of oil research ship Gios on 17 April caused a fire and evacuation, 10 kilometers off Kuala Barum, near the Malaysia-Bruni border. According to Vessel Tracker, Myri District Maritime Director, sent in a Boang 23, and CA cap to the burning ship, 